All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to generate pink noise and or sine wave through the PA if you want to test that your speakers are connected correctly and audio is passing through, or if you want to hook up a RTA mic and tune your PA at a live show using pink noise. First, you'll need to go to the monitor section here, press view, We'll tab over to the oscillator section. A good idea is to turn down the volume that the pink noise will be sounding at. If it's not already set to pink noise, just use your encoder knob here to set it to pink noise. And then we can assign where we would like that pink noise to go to. So if we're testing that our in-ear packs are working, perhaps we could assign it to in-ear bus 1 and send pink noise there. Or if we wanted to run it through our main speakers, we could select left, right, or left, right together. And also select our mono center channel if you have a subwoofer hooked up that way. And then if you're running your speakers through a matrice, you can individually send pink noise through each matrice. For right now, we're just going to focus on left and right. So I'll go ahead and sign it to just the left output speaker. I'll press the button to generate pink noise and then slowly bring up that noise. And then we can turn it off send it to our right channel again hit the button to generate it and then we could go to our mono center channel that our subwoofer may be living on as is the case here generate again and that is as easy as that now if you're going to want to tune your system using the RTA you would send that pink noise out you would have an RTA mic plugged into one of your channels either locally on the back of the console or if you're running over cat 5 to a stage box plug it in there and you're gonna tab over to the meter section in meters you're gonna tab over to RTA and then there's several options here, but generally you would set your peak hold to maybe four or five seconds, your decay time to maybe six seconds so that the meters don't fall down too quickly and you can actually see where that noise is. Um, and then we could go and generate pink noise on our left and right go back over to meters and there you can see the pink noise coming through there's a bit of dip through the mid section so if I was tuning I would maybe focus on those and EQ up But that is it for today, guys.